guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about the DCEU version of Supergirl and a potential HBO Max show. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the other day there was a supposed announcement that came out saying that maybe the Supergirl film with Sasha Calais, who was cast for the Flash film, and we'll get into more about that in a minute, that that film could be translated over into a TV show on HBO Max. And this didn't seem too far-fetched due to the fact that DC and Warner Brothers are really trying to push HBO Max to be this huge thing, and they're even you know, bring in some of their films, like Batgirl, which was supposed to be coming out theatrically, and now they're exclusively releasing it on HBO Max, and this is obviously following suit with what's happening over at Disney and some of the choices that they've made, and HBO Max has been releasing stuff like, you know, on their streaming platform, but also in the cinemas, and then now they're trying to build their catalogue in terms of new TV shows that they're releasing, and DC is one of their biggest properties, so of course they're going to want to release new HBO Max shows. And so right now in production is Green Lantern, that is the new show that is coming to HBO Max, Superman Lois is half releasing on there, and all the rest of the new CW shows are going to be half releasing on there as well, but they're going to want more DC shows exclusive for their service. Obviously they have Doom Patrol, Titans and everything, so they already have that which is awesome for them but potentially in the future they probably want to get some properties similar to what they're doing over on Disney Plus where you have like the Hawkeye show you had WandaVision so basically taking these big well-known people you know characters and actors from their proper big MCU films or in the case of DC from the DCEU films and translating them and bringing them over to TV so that they can sort of capitalize on how popular that is. So with the Flash film coming out and with Sasha Kale being cast as Supergirl in the DCEU, there's been lots of talks about like what is she going to do next after the Flash film. So the Flash film releases next year. Sasha is playing a pretty big role as Supergirl in that film. Obviously we don't have like official details about everything that she's going to be doing in that film. But from what we've been seeing behind the scenes, she's been there pretty much for most of the time that they've been filming. So Supergirl does have a big role. And so it's very possible after that film comes out that people are going to be very high on this version of Supergirl. And they probably want to gonna see more of her. So while well, this brings us on to the potential DCEU Supergirl film that has been in the works for many years but we haven't really had many updates in regards to if that's actually happening. So with the potential announcement the other day of an HBO Max Supergirl show with Sasha Calais version of Supergirl, after Melissa's version of Supergirl goes away, you know, because Supergirl is ending this year in November, it made a lot of sense to me that they would want to continue the success that Supergirl has had on TV, but on HBO Max and with a character who's going to be premiering in a big film. Obviously they're doing that with Peacemaker who just debuted on the Suicide Squad film and now he's going to get his own show. So why wouldn't they do that with Supergirl? I think it's very possible and this announcement the other day by that hashtag show, it seemed pretty viable and I did tell you in that video that I posted the other day about the news take it with a big grain of salt because this isn't official confirmation, this isn't coming from like TV line or something where you know they have sources really close to the CW, to HBO Max and all these places because they're going to want to announce it via there if they're going to announce like a new HBO Max show or something, you know, or one of the big trade publications like Deadline or The Hollywood Reporter because this is a big deal if this actually goes ahead with HBO Max and Supergirl. But this show was actually debunked the other day, and this is coming from my friend Andy Bechtard from Screen Run, and he has sources close to HBO and Warner Brothers and DC. He's done lots of stuff, and I really trust him. So what he did was he released a tweet the other day saying, I know there was a report last week about a Supergirl HBO Max series with The Flash's Sasha Calais, 
but sources confirm that there is officially no such project in the works. So that pretty much confirms that as of right now there isn't an HBO Max series with Supergirl going ahead, and instead it's probably going to be a film like we discussed, and that doesn't mean that that film isn't going to be on HBO Max and in the cinema. It's very likely that it could be happening that way, like they've been releasing the new films like The Suicide Squad most recently. So yeah, I think I'm a little bit disappointed, only because Supergirl is going away, Melissa's version of Supergirl on the CW, and it would be really nice to continue the Supergirl legacy but with someone else and something completely different, you know, the DCEU version is not going to be the same as the CW version of Supergirl, and doing it on HBO Max, giving it a bigger budget, and actually making it run kind of like what they're doing with Titans, or maybe something along the lines of Superman and Lois, like, HBO Max and CW, there is a difference, and most people have commented on that recently, so it would be nice to see this version of Supergirl continue her legacy post- the Flash's film, similar to what they're doing with Peacemaker, and, you know, just as a nostalgia factor, like, continuing Supergirl would be fantastic, you know, in TV form. However, I'm not against the idea of a Supergirl film in the DCEU, I think it's about time, they've waited a very, very long time, and it's clear that they don't want to sort of go forward with the Superman stuff, with Henry Cavill in the DCEU, they want to stay with Tyler Hoechlin, on HBO Max and the CW because that is very successful as of right now and so it's very possible that Supergirl is going to play a major role in the DCEU in the upcoming future and so I totally get why you know they would want to make a film with Supergirl rather than an HBO Max series because you know it's probably a fact that they are going to make a lot more money if they release it in the cinema because, you know, there is a potential it could make a billion dollars or anything along the lines of that. But, obviously, there is the sort of longevity of a series where they can release it year to year, get lots of advertisers, you know, get lots of people viewing it and continue it for however long they want. So, there is that option. I think that is one reason why an HBO Max show would be cool for them and it would be, like, viable. But it's just like a matter of creative choice, I think, at this point, because making a series obviously means you need to come up with a bigger story, but with a film, it's like a kind of two-hour runtime, and you come up with one story, and it's a kind of one-and-done situation, and then Supergirl can appear in later releases in the DCU or in HBO Max shows. So we'll have to wait and see, but in regards to the Supergirl film, there's no more updates. And we don't know if Melissa Bonoy's version of Supergirl is actually going to show up, but it's very likely in whatever form the Supergirl film or TV show takes place in, it's possible that Melissa is going to cameo. Similar to what people have been theorizing is going to happen in the Flash film, where lots of people have the idea that Grant Gustin is going to film a cameo and show up, and it's going to link similar to what Ezra did in Crisis when he briefly came over. And it was recently confirmed that Ezra's version of The Flash is going to be called The Flash because of meeting Grant Gustin's version of The Flash, who already calls himself that name. And if you guys remember in the DCEU, Ezra's version has never called himself The Flash. That's only us as fans, and that's the advertising talking. They haven't actually said anything like that until Crisis on Infinite Earth. So it's a big deal, and I think it's going to be a big deal with Supergirl to continue the legacy of what Melissa has set up. Because when you face it, Supergirl has been popularized by the CW show going on for now seven years and Melissa's image of Supergirl has become ingrained in the culture and look at the comics, most of the versions of Supergirl now look like Melissa and so going on forward, Sasha Kelly's Supergirl is going to be influenced by Melissa's version because we know that Sasha has watched the show, however she's going to be doing her own spin, her own take on the character. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy road. Heartbeat.